Welcome to Hi Ho Bigglesworth. My name's Timothy Babblehemp and this is Toe Jam and Earl. I used to love playing this one as little. It's amazing. <laughs> it's really fun and funky. Yeah. Uh, well, I, I've never completed it by myself. Me and my dad completed it a few times, but not never me by myself. No. Greetings. My name is Toe Jam. And this here is my bro, Big Rapping Earl. Yo, what's up? Earl and myself are highly funky aliens. Yeah, from outer space, obviously. Outer space. <laughs> More specifically, we are from the planet Funkatron. <laughs> Funkatron. <laughs> Thank you, Earl. <laughs> Check this out. This is our highly funky, ultra cool, Righteous Rap Master Rocket Ship. <laughs> Notice the megawatt speakers. Yeah. With which Earl and I have been known to crank out some extremely funky tunes. <laughs> crank it, Earl. Oh, yeah. Recently, we ran into a small problem. Problem. All he'll do is repeat you. <laughs> repeat what Tojob says. We were cruising in our rocket, thumping out a fun funky beat, when Big Earl said he'd like a shot in the driver's seat. Okay, Earl's driving. That does not fill me with confidence. How the hell is he making a spaceship skid? <laughs> he's, he's pretty good at avoiding all these little asteroids, so he's fine. <laughs> Still skidding away there. Oh, well, that, that's not good, is it? Obviously not. <laughs> How are they falling through space? <laughs> Just falling, yeah. I don't, I, it doesn't make any sense. But they've landed on Earth, yeah. <laughs> you should never let Earl drive. Yo, so here we are. Chilling out on the most insane planet. In the galaxy. Planet Earth. Thanks to Earl. <laughs> All we have to do now is find the 10 pieces of our rocket ship and we can jet out of here. No problem. No problem. Actually, actually, there will be an, an enormous problem. Yeah. Greet. I don't want to watch this again. Okay, so one player. Should I be as Toe Jam as, or Earl? Toe Jam walks faster, but Earl has more health. I, I'm gonna go with Toe Jam because you need to walk fast. Having more health does not help if an enemy just murders you. Right, do I want to play a random world or the fixed world? I'm gonna play a random world because then I'm not likely to remember where stuff is. Even though I probably wouldn't remember even on the fixed world. It's been years since I played this, but I, I might have brief flashes of memory about where stuff are. So this is the first level, it's nice and easy, you just get given some presents and you're on this little island surrounded by water. It's a nice easy little introduction level where it just shows you that you can just walk around. You do walk ridiculously slowly. Now let's look at the map. You see, it's, it's huge. <laughs> well it's not that big really, when you think about it. Think about how big that island is. But all that is water, except for I think there's an island in the corner that's got a bunch of presents on it. But the only way to reach that island is to use a special present. So I, I, that's what I'm going to try and do. There's no pieces on Toe Jam's level. Yeah, that's that's the rocket ship. I need to make it by finding the pieces. This this scattered around. When I reach a level, it'll tell me if there's one on it. So this is my present screen. I start with four bonus high tops. They they're the running shoes. They make me run. 
obviously. And these are the four I've just picked up. I'm gonna open all four of them, see what I get. <laughs> yeah, tomatoes. Yeah, tomatoes are what you can use to kill enemies when I actually start finding enemies. <laughs> so you can just throw them around. Just throw them everywhere. Yeah. <laughs> okay, what's in this? Uh. Oh, that was an extra life! Look, I've got, I've got four lives now. They're the the uh, stars that are just underneath my wiener. <laughs> Toe Jam is a wiener. Yeah, uh, you, you do level up as you go through the game. Um, you see in the bottom corner there it says eight points. I have eight points. The more points you get, the higher your level goes. And I think as you level up, your health increases and sometimes you get an extra life. Alright, what's this? Oh, fucking hell! It's a rain cloud. Yeah, the the lightning hurts me. But I can avoid it if I go in the water, I think. The lightning can't strike me in the water, but my health goes down when I'm in the water. I have to climb out to refill it. So the less health you got, the less time you can spend swimming. So I just need to hang around it. Oh, I got electrocuted. And it just needs to hang around in the water until the rain cloud goes away. There we go. Okay, let's open the last present. Let's see if it's one of the presents that will allow me to reach the island. No, it's a slingshot! Yeah, it's exactly the same as tomatoes, but obviously it shoots much further. Okay, let's go. Uh, there's two types of presents I don't want to encounter on this playthrough. Uh, one of them kills you instantly, so it's fine if I get it now, but if I'm on my last life, I don't want to find it. And there's one that randomizes all the presents, so you've got to work out what's in them again. Because every time you find a present, if it's the, if it's one you've opened before, it'll have the same design and it'll have the same thing in it. Unless you've got the randomizer and then you'll have to work out what they are again. Right, so here I am on world number two. I just saw a little imp over there. I'm gonna just going to murder it. Die, imp. There we go. It's dead. Okay, so let's look at the map. I can already see the exit. <laughs> Yeah, the exit and the ship pieces do appear on the map if you've, uh, like, gone into the square that they're in. Uh, I didn't know the exit was there, but it is, according to the map. So I, I, I can go straight to it, or I can explore a bit, try and find some presents. This is a mushroom. I think if I eat it, it'll lower my health. Because there's bad food and there's good food. And you don't want to encounter the bad food. Mail order, yeah? Okay, I can buy a present. I don't want to buy a- why would I buy a rain cloud? That's ridiculous. Let's buy this blue present. Because I got three bucks. I can afford it. Nope. I have no bucks left now. So I'm going to open that present. I may as well. See what's in it. Spring shoes. They can make me jump really far. <laughs> so as you can see, we're on a floating island. Uh, if I fall off the island, I will end up on the level below. It's sort of like getting over it like that. It does get annoying later on when there's lots of earthlings around attacking you and they knock you off the edge and then you've got to climb back up. <laughs> and they're still there. <laughs> they're still there to murder you. But you, you have to waste time climbing back up again. So, let, let's just explore around this island. Oh shit, there's an imp. Yeah, when, when you've got an item active, you can't sneak. When you have no items active, you can sneak. So if they're sleeping, you, 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 wake, you don't wake them up. Okay, so there's nothing over there. Okay, this this is a tiny island. It's not overly interesting, but there's probably a few presents scattered around. There's another fucking imp. It was sleeping, but I woke it up. Okay, there's tiny islands over there. Oh shit! Jump away from it. Ah, oh, that's what that's what I don't like about the jump. If you do a big jump, you you land on your ass and you have to just bounce until you recover. So then an earthling can get you. Cake. I don't need the cake. I'm on full health. Right, let's just check the map again. I, I've sort of uncovered most of that. Right. Let, shall I open a present? Yeah, let's open that present. Rose bushes. Yeah, you can leave a rose bush and it'll block any humans that are chasing you. Which is good. Good. I, I, I've only had good presents so far, except for that rain cloud. But in, in the grand scheme of things, the rain cloud isn't that bad of a present compared to the other ones you can get. <laughs> uh, that's that's a cabbage or a lettuce or something. I'm not going to eat it. He probably doesn't like it. It's normally nice stuff that he likes, like cake. <laughs> and like I think there's fudge sundae in it as well. 
Stuff like that he likes. I'm not going to pick up the cake. What if I get hurt when I'm up here? And he likes pizza as well. <laughs> when you think about it, any food that people like is is likely to be something that Toejam will like. Oh, for fuck's sake, I want to get them presents! But there's an imp in the way. Fucking hell. Come on, imp. Imp, come here. Come here, imp. Come on, follow me. Follow me. Come on, chase me. Chase me, you bastard. Oh, for fuck's sakes. If I go and get them presents, it will chase me. The saying is I'm not going to get the presents. He's not chasing me. Here he comes. Oh, you fucking bastard. I'm just going to go. Go for it. Go for it. Ah, oh, he's after me. Okay, I got the presents. Shall I open them? Well, I already know what spring shoes are, but I don't know what this is. The, the, the fucking made bees appear! Bees! <laughs> fucking bees! I hate bees! Every game I play, bees! <laughs> fucking hell. Yeah, he, he just said he's stuffed because he's on full health and I picked up a pizza. Bees, go away! For fuck's sakes! Oh my god! So that's not a good present. Ooh, a phone is ringing nearby. If I pick up the phone, it reveals some of the map. Let's let's get that, just in case there's like a secret island. There's a pie there. Does he like pie? Possibly. Uh, it looks like I've explored this whole level now. There might be some little random floating islands around the edge, but I can't reach them. <laughs> there, there is a um, one present that gives you wings so you can fly for a bit, but I haven't got that. And I don't think I would want to waste it flying around here anyway. I've explored the whole level. Let's just have a look here in case there's a present. No, no presents. Okay, let's let's go up to level 3 then. It, it starts off easy. It, it does. This game is really hard. <laughs> Once I get to higher levels, it's going to be impossible. Because I've only seen two of the Earthlings so far. An imp and bees. Fucking bees. <laughs> It always has to be bees, doesn't it? It can never be anything else. There's a ship piece on this level, so we're gonna find that somewhere on this level. You can't see it on the map so far? No. Right, uh, where was I? Okay, I'm gonna head up and to the left, and then head down, just to explore as much of the level as possible. On these early levels, that's a sensible way to do it. Like, you explore as much as you can, find as many presents as you can and learn what's in them, because that will come in helpful later on. Look, there's a fucking... That, that hamster is ridiculously large. <laughs> like, compared to the imp I saw, well, the bees. The bees were smaller than the hamster. Well, bees are smaller than hamsters anyway. Yeah, but... It, you know what I mean. <laughs> Look at the size of that fucking hamster. Um, You see, you see the path that he's on, the, the weird wibbly path. Sometimes they appear. They're hidden until you walk close to them, and then they appear. So I, I want to stick to the edge of the levels as much as I can to see if I can find a secret thing. There's a hula girl there. They don't actually hurt you, but when you're close to them, sometimes you dance. Let's try and make him dance. There we go. See? Dancing. But while he's dancing, I can't move. So other earth things can kill me. I'm going to go and pick up that buck eventually. <laughs> All right, a uh, buck. There's another imp down there, and then there's an imp over here. But there didn't seem to be anything over there. Uh, there might have been a secret path, but I don't really care. Oh fucking hell! It's like imp central over here. What's with all the imps? Go away! I've just leveled up. I'm a doofus now instead of a wiener. Yeah. Right. Let's open this present. See what's in it. Jackpot! Five bucks! Whoa! I got five bucks. Not that they're going to be that helpful right now, because I'm... Okay, that hamster is sleeping because he's not moving. So I can sneak down here. There's nothing there, so we'll just sneak away. Leave the hamster to sleep. Okay, let, let's have a look up here. There's a mailbox. Let's go and see if we can buy a present. Uh, I have seven bucks. Shall I buy the, the expensive one? The expensive ones are rarer, and rarer ones tend to be good. They're either really good, or really bad. <laughs> so let, let's open it, let's see what it is. I don't know what that was. Oh, oh, maybe if, I, if I'd fallen down onto level 2, it would bring me back up to level 3. I think that's what that present did. 
Possibly. I, I don't know. All I did was vanish and reappear in the same spot. So, <laughs> I don't know. That's probably what it does. It makes sense. So I'm pretty, there we go. A secret path. Not that I'm following the secret path right now because I'm exploring around here in case there were presents near the road. Nope, just some imps. Right, let's go along this secret path. See what's here. More secret paths. Yeah, it's just making like a grid pattern. <laughs> okay, where am I now? Okay, let, let's explore this little path here. Because perhaps it'll lead round to where I saw that hamster earlier, because there was a present next to the hamster. Oh shit! Ooh, I almost fell off. You can't just instantly fall off. You'll always do a little whoa, whoa, whoa. What the fuck are you doing up there on a little island by yourself? He's some sort of wizard. <laughs> I'm glad I'm not bumping into him, because he might cause a lot of problems for me, but he's just sitting on a little island by himself. <laughs> Wandering around backwards and forwards. Do, do I already... I think I already opened one of them. Yeah, it's rose bushes. So I've only found helpful presents so far. It's making me very wary to open any other presents. But I know there are a couple more good ones. There's like an extra life one. I've already got the extra life, yeah. Uh, there's, there's like lots of healing ones and stuff. Right, fucking this imp. Right, should I spring shoes away from him? I, uh, I could try, but I might not make it. <laughs> I don't like using the spring shoes if I'm not sure I'm gonna make it. So let's just not, let's just try and avoid him for now. When did I get hurt? How did I lose health? I don't remember losing health. Oh shit, he's coming. He's coming at me. Go away! Go away, you bastard. Right, let's just... Ah! Oh, fucking out! Go away! Go away, imp! Go away, I need to... <laughs> I made it. <laughs> if he'd hit me then, I could have... Oh shit, I'm dancing. Go, 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 go. Away from her. Get away. Ah, the ship piece! Yeah, the ship pieces are on a weird plinth with the big arrows pointing at them. Super Funkomatic Amplimator. Yeah, it's that, that thing at the top there. Jammin! <laughs> Just say jammin there, yeah. The, the, these islands are touching, so I can walk straight onto that one. There's, there's sand on that one. Yeah, later on the levels do get covered in sand, which makes you walk slower. And you sink in it. I think you can actually drown. Because the sand takes you down, and I think you can drown in it. I'm not sure. Possibly. <laughs> perhaps we'll find out. Or perhaps not. I, I don't really want to find out, do I? Hello, hamster. Can you go away? Go away! God, look at his chubby cheeks. Disgusting. <laughs> not disgusting, just just hamster. Ah! Ooh. That was close. Yeah, he takes a long time to dive into the water. Just like it takes a long time to fall off the edge. It's it's good when it comes to falling off the edge, but it's bad when it take when it comes to jumping into the water to get away from stuff. I'm just gonna walk behind this tree in case there's a present hidden. No. I almost fell off then. Right, there's there's loads of little islands around that have like earthlings on them. But I can't reach them because obviously they're little islands. So it looks like the lift is going to be down the bottom. Well, it has to be down the bottom. That's the only place left. Oh, sneak. Sneaky, sneaky. Oh, fucking don't make me dance. Don't you dare make me dance. Oh, fuck. Please don't dance. Please don't dance. Please don't dance. I don't think the dancing will wake it up. No, it's fine. I think I'm far enough away that it wouldn't wake up anyway if I walked. Yeah. So I, I, I'm not sure if the dancing does wake them up or not. Okay, so there's an imp there. That's the mailbox I saw earlier. So we just want to explore down here. We'll find a present. We'll find the lift. Okay, there's two of them presents right next to each other. I think... Yeah, they're spring shoes. I've got lots of spring shoes now. I don't need lots of spring shoes, okay? So I'm just going to explore a bit more of the map. Each each time you uncover a map piece, uh, you get some uh, extra... You get points, so you can level up. And I think each time you open a present, you get points as well. Right, so that that's a complete dead end there. Right, let's let's open this present I just got. Huh. Oh fuck! It's a book, and because it was a boring book, he's fallen asleep. I have to, I have to tap buttons to make him wake up. 
You whisper, wake up. Come on. There we go, he woke up. <laughs> See, this game's ridiculous. There's a present that is a book, and it makes you fall asleep. Yeah, that's moldy bread. That's why I didn't pick it up. Because I do need health, so if I find some good food, I'll eat it. But I'm not going to eat moldy bread. <laughs> that's not sensible. So let's continue exploring here, because I want a nice collection of presents. I want to work out what all the presents do fairly early on, so that I can actually uh, do something. Where's that phone? It's, it's over there on that little island with the imp. That's not a good place for a phone to be. The imps aren't that dangerous. Like, you've seen me walking around them. They don't actually do anything to you. <laughs> well, they can jab you if they get close, but they're really easy to avoid. So, no problems so far. No problems at all. I love the little funky bee. And, and the nice backgrounds you get in between the levels. It's alright until you start falling off the levels and then you have to watch it again to, when you're going up back up. There's a ship piece on this level as well. <laughs> but next time, that's when we'll be getting this ship piece, yeah. <laughs> so this game is really fun. I'm hoping I can complete it. Well, I will complete it. I'm going to play it until I complete it. But uh, there's no actual save system on the game, so I have to do it all in one sitting. So... Next time, we'll see how far we get. Maybe I'll finish the game. Maybe I'll die. Who knows? We'll have to find out. <laughs> yeah. So I've been Timothy Babblehump. This has been Toe Jam and Earl. Thanks for watching. Goodbye. <laughs> this is fucking ridiculous. But really fun.